All right, Lindsay, thanks. We'll keep an eye on that. Well, last night, you might have caught it, Indianapolis Mayor Joe Hogsett presented his proposed budget for 2023 to the City County Council. There are three main areas expected to get a boost, public safety, infrastructure, and education. The mayor is joining us here this morning to dig more into some of that. First of all, welcome. Thanks for being here, especially on this rainy Tuesday morning. Glad to be here, Julia. Uh, your proposal, $100 million over last year's 2022 budget. Budget. I think taxpayers first and foremost want to know where's that money coming from? Well, the truth is for the last six years, we have had fully balanced um, and fully funded budgets uh, and we have been very, very fiscally prudent. So we're able to invest some of those dollars that over the years we've been able to save into important programs in infrastructure, in education and in public safety uh, that frankly we haven't had before. Now, I, I have to be uh, absolutely uh, uh, transparent. $420 million through the American Rescue Plan mm -hmm. from Washington has certainly helped. And, and I, there are a million questions I can ask about why that money didn't get spent over the pandemic, but we'll save that because we want to focus on budget because I know a big chunk of that money is going to curb the violence in our city. And that is something that, and not just Indianapolis, we're not immune to it, but the violence has increased so much. A lot of people say, are we putting the money into the right resources? And you say, what about that? Well, I, I will tell you that in this year alone, Alone, we've seen a 20% uh, decrease in the number of homicides in our city. We've seen a 16% decrease in the number of aggravated assaults. We've seen a 10% decrease in the number of non-fatal shootings. Now, that may not make for good news, mm -hmm. uh, but it is good news mm -hmm. uh, because uh, the investments we're making are starting to pay great dividends for the people of the city of Indianapolis. Mm -hmm. And I think we're using the money in wise ways. We're investing it in our neighborhoods and mm -hmm. it's making a difference. And let's jump to neighborhoods because you, that's a big part of this proposal here. The infrastructures, the roads, the neighborhoods, the sidewalks, that is going to get addressed in this budget. Yeah, we're going to, uh, we're going to spend $1.1 billion over the next five years in our sidewalks, our roadways, our streetscapes, uh, and improving the infrastructure generally throughout the city of mm -hmm. Indianapolis. So uh, it's an ambitious program. Mm -hmm. uh, I wish we had a little bit more state funding uh, mm -hmm. than uh, what we currently uh, receive, but I think, it's, I think the people of Indianapolis will see a difference. We had a very difficult winter this past winter, mm -hmm. but, um, but help is on the way. And real quick, I'll wrap up with how did you feel that the council accepted your proposal last night? Did you feel it was with with warm embrace and liked what they see for the next year? Well, for six years, we've had broad bipartisan support. Republicans and Democrats come together uh, at the local level, mm -hmm. uh, maybe not in Washington, but at the local level, we come together to do what is in the best interest of the people of the, of the city of Indianapolis. And I don't expect anything different this year. All right, well, great uh, proposal last night. We appreciate you coming in and talking about it this morning so our viewers kind of know what's on the table for next year. Thank you, Julia. All right, thank you.